Hello, Ryu Serpentine here, back with the Boogeyman. Um, I have found out what I need to do in the armor room so I can get the good ending. Um, I need to move these three pieces of armor. I had to look at the painting on the wall uh, to be able to get the clue. And uh, let's see, something in the broken stone. Got a bit key. Alright, now that I have that, let's find out where it'll go to. Let's see. Well, I couldn't unlock this before. Maybe I can now. As you may have noticed, I do not have Lance. I went a bit backwards, so you will actually get to see a bit of what uh, was missed previously when my microphone was not working. Am I allowed to take this? Nope. Whoa. Helena. Keith? Keith, are you okay? Are you hurt? I'm fine. What about you? Keith, Keith, thank goodness, thank goodness. Helena, your leg's wounded. Hold on, I'll get over there. I'm not sure how he's expecting to get through those bars. Keith, I'm fine. I'll be fine. There's nothing to worry about. Helena? Wait, Helena, I'll be right there. Don't move from that spot. I'm fine. I swear I'll be fine. Wait for me, Keith. I'll... Don't worry. I'll... Alright. Now, let's go back to get everything that we need. Okay, I did grab the item there, okay. I already grabbed the axe off the wall, that's good. Lance. The detective uh, Hey, save me already, damn it. Untie these things. If you want him off that bad, you should have asked me, Lance. Uh, hey, hurry up, save me, please. Hey there, detective. Whoa there, don't move a muscle. You have to give the bad guy a chance to say some lines. Hurry, Keith, get me out of here. What a noisy pest you are, Lance. Already forgotten your punishment for howling like that before. Huh? Bad dog. <laughs> Don't move. I already said that, didn't I? If you ask me, detective, photographers are just the worst people in the whole world. They capture the world in their lands and tell the world that this is reality. But it isn't, is it? Reality has pain, it has suffering, most importantly, it has fear. The public sees this world you're fighting against in a distorted form thanks to these wretched photographers. So now I'm thinking this coward should be taught what real pain is like. Good idea, don't you think? Now Lance, you seem like a coward who can only see reality through a lens, so I'll take a photo for you. I'll put that photo in a frame, hang it up, place some flowers, and pray on the anniversary of your death. Smile for the camera, Lance. Alright, uh, now what you actually have to do here is uh, use the axe on the door. You have to use it a few different times. I have no clue if you can even hear what I'm saying. But you need to keep using it because it will not be able to cut the cord. One more time, I believe, does it. Go in here and flip, take the key. Then use the key on land.
I'll stop the bleeding. What a crappy photo. This is why I hate taking pics of people. Damn it, why'd this happen to me? Friggy on howling. What a loser I am. Your life was in danger. I'd be worried if you weren't frightened. And what would you know, huh? When I was new to my job, I got shot in the leg. I lost my cool and screamed, and my boss at the time punched me. Told me that if I freaked out, nobody would trust me. What a terrible boss. Why are you here, Lance? Hell if I know. I nodded off on the sofa, then woke up all tied up. You didn't notice being transported here? I said I was sleeping, didn't I? I'll tell you what I know. That man's condemned everyone who's on the tour. I haven't found any of them yet besides you. Brandon, Stevie, and the employees were all killed. Huh? Killed? I slept from 9 to about midnight. Around 12.05, that man decapitated Brandon. Stevie died around 12.20. He was tied to the chair, cut open from his neck down his back. He was left there immobile until he died of blood loss. Judging from the amount of blood and how much it had dried, the wound was probably inflicted about 30 minutes before I found him. He's s seriously dead? Well, he was still hanging by a thread by the time I arrived. Was there some way to save him? I'm not a doctor. Even if I were, he'd lost too much blood. So you just stood in front of dying Stevie, calculating his time of death? Don't harp on every detail. Lance, can you stand? I'm going to look for the others. You come with me. I can't leave you alone. And what if I can't stand, huh? I'll carry you. Give me a break. Hey, go look for the others if you want, but don't you think it'd be faster to nail that guy down first? Leaving him alone is downright dangerous. This is a hostage situation. Who knows how many others are being slowly killed like Stevie? Catching him is pointless if we can't guarantee everyone's safety. He's already killed several people. I'm playing catch-up at this point. I can't suffer any more careless losses. Losses, huh? That what you called murders? Quiet. Stop hounding me. That kind of thing gets the attention of civil liberties groups. Uh... Yeah, I still have no clue what he means by that. Let's go. Get back in there because of an item I need. Lock down the shelves. Grab the sideboard. Okay, I'm going to cut it here as I believe that that's everything that you would have missed before. And I will be back as soon as I get caught up. And I'm back. Alright, uh, let's see. Um, don't know why I didn't think of doing this before. Uh, try shooting the eagle. Cover your ears, Lance. Good God, you should have told me you were going to fire that thing. It's like you're trying to freak me out. Do I have to give you notes for everything to keep you from wetting yourself? This seems futile. But forget it. You sure this was the best place for that? There was only one bullet. You should have kept it for later. Couldn't trust someone else to carry a little gun around. Just be glad it didn't discharge and blow off my hand. Head of the Eagle shot by the Lu Luger. Is that how that's pronounced? I know, don't really know anything about guns. I, no interest in them. The Gemini's eye has fallen out. There is some sort of hook attached to it. Got a hook gem. Okay, as you may remember, there was an Eagle poster. Uh, elsewhere, so let's get back up there. Alright, down here is an eagle poster, so let's save here, and let's try this. Alright, uh, let's put the hook gemmed in. Yep. Put the hook in the eagle emblem and twisted it, so it's like a doorknob. It was a doorknob, okay. And now it's time for a new save. Hey, Detective. Lance, you're pretty late. Had trouble leading the wounded man along, is it? Listen, Lance, don't get in the detective's way. This game is between me and him, you know. If you interfere too much, I'll punish you again. 
Get away from there. Oh, how keen, detective. Just as you surmise, there's someone you need to protect here. I'm confused. Why does it say Keith's name on... Oh yes, detective. There's something I've been meaning to ask. Say there were two helpless people in peril. Say you had to save one and just leave the other behind. Who would you save in that case? What if you had to choose between a girl with a bright future or an adult doing good work for society? <laughs> Oh no. You bastard. Yeah, no kidding, bastard. Just as is heartless, you see, it's unfair, it's all choosy. But I am impartial, I can send these two to hell together. So, detective, which will you save? And don't tell me both. As soon as you raise one, the other will fall, and you know what'll happen down that hall, don't you? Truth is, though, I know you really want to save. Oh, how I pity you, detective. Bye bye now. Uh, hey, you guys okay? Do they look okay, Lance? Keith, but please save Sophie. I'm begging you. No, Papa, don't. Mr. Keith, save Papa, please. <laughs> Not allowed to save. Figures. Sophie, it'll be okay. Stay calm. We'll be fine. Don't cry, don't cry. It'll be okay. They come to help us, Sophie. It's okay now. Well, everything will be just fine. Just fine. Uh, let's see. Oh, can't reach it. Uh, let's see. I have an idea. I have no clue if it'll work. I need to do, so let's go back to the title screen. Uh, check on something again. Okay, that's what I need to see. Once again, scared by the bathroom curtain. Will the big key work on this, I want? No, I don't have a key that works there. Okay. Fight with monsters. What does that mean? Or it's hole on the floor, you can't take a glance across it. I'm going to cut it here while I check something, and I'll be right back. Okay, back to recording. I thought I could do this earlier. It looks like I have to trigger that event first. Uh, let's see here. So already seen this, so I'll skip it. Right, I need Lance with me. Okay, let's see. Then we made a wood. Move the table. Okay. Well, are you gonna lift Richard and drop Sophie? You're really short. This Blake's broke the table. She won't be hurt. The hell she won't. Alright. Still not allowed to save. Okay. Here we go. The room full of 
Flex on hold, man, you went down. There's nowhere to be seen. Um, I'm trying to actually speak to one of you. Lance, pull the lever when I say pull. Sophie, I'm going to lift Richard and drop you. No, Keith, drop me, please. Don't put my daughter in danger. Why? Sophie, don't look down, okay? You'll be fine if you don't look down. You with me? No funny stuff. Don't cry, Sophie. I won't let you die. I won't even let you get hurt. I promise. Keith, stop making promises you can't keep. So believe me and just don't move. Can you promise me that? Uh, okay. That's a good girl. Lance, are you ready? Yeah. Pull. <laughs> Mr. Keith, are you okay, Mr. Keith? How about you? I'm fine. I don't have a scratch on me, but you, Mr. Keith. Glad to hear it. Sorry, little lady, but could you move it? Feels like I'm going to be crushed to death. Papa! Sophie! Oh, Sophie, I'm so glad you're safe. Papa, Papa, it was so scary! Hey, you okay? I had no idea you were gonna... Lance, how's my head look? Huh? Those spikes really grazed it. I wonder if they sh sheared my hair. Did I go bald? Oh, God. Someone who is bald, Keith, just shut up. <laughs> Don't worry, it's still plenty fluffy. Keith, I'm so so grateful. Thank you so much for saving my daughter. Let's take this elsewhere. Come with me. Lance, how are those wounds? Are you still hurting? Damn right I am, but I guess it's a little better now. No weird traps in this room, no windows either. Just that one door, in or out. Shouldn't have to worry about that guy ambushing you. I'll go look for the others, so you stay here. Don't leave this room under any circumstances. K Keith, will you be alright? Better than I'd be dragging around a wounded man in a family. Hey! What? Didn't I just tell you to stay in there? What you said before, whatever it was about civil liberties groups. Did I say anything like that? Don't play dumb, you. What do you know? You're trying to threaten me? I felt bad for the girl, no doubt, but you went about it all wrong. Sorry, but I just can't approve of that. What? It's your policy not to photograph people? Not quite accurate, is it? It's not that you won't. You can't. Since you don't listen to what you're told, you don't love scenery, you just hate people. But why do you know that? I didn't say anything about that. You researched, you got your eyes on me. Are you just some cop? You're not state. How the hell? And that other guy talked like he knew too. What the hell is this? What do you guys know? Done talking? Use that if he comes for you. His big head should be an easy target. Don't worry, it'll be justified self-defense. No tabloid starting for you. If any, it would be me. I suggest you come up with equipped for the press, the detective ordered me to, say. Or are you more accustomed to being the press? Well, LK? Back in the room, you should follow their example instead of picking a fight with me. Alright, new safe. over the hall, see if that'll work. This be a real guillotine, the edge is rusty though. Ugh. Painting of a woman holding a severed head, there's a placard underneath. Ah, Jokanen, I kissed your lips, they had such bitter taste, was it the taste of blood? Ah, I should know where that's from. No, it must be the taste of love, as everyone says, love is bitter. Alright, save again.
Okay, I'm guessing that's a death if I step there. This control panel is locked, there's a heart symbol on the door. There are two buttons on the wall. Let's see. Sledgehammer. Or a saw. Uh, press the left button. Got a sledgehammer. On note of curiosity. Nope, okay. Iron door, it's locked and won't open. Let's see if my theory is correct. Yep, that's what I thought. Ultra Fight 4, okay. Any chance this will work? Breaking the door down with the hammer would destroy the control panel inside too. Okay, I, so it's actually going to go the logical route on that. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see here. So this is the safe room, right? Okay, good. Curious to see if there's anything new in this room. So that doll's destroyed, kind of destroyed this stupid thing. God, that thing creeps me out. Do nothing first. Save. I feel like the blue moon's statue is looking closer to something deep in its mouth. So let's find out what happens. Like something sharp is inside the mouth, so you can't get your hand all the way to the back. Okay. Uh, destroy it. So it came out of the decapitated statue. Got a key with a heart chain. Okay. Then I know what to do with that one. Room. Can't do anything with that door yet. Jump over this hole. There's a heart on it. The, I'm betting that the heart key works here. Yep. Switch under the cover. Press the switch. Okay, no more crackling sound. That was getting on my nerves, actually. Okay. Uh, let's see. Rope, never a bad idea to have that. Old videotape player. Very old style television. I wonder if I can use this to make a quicker route down here. It's 
worth a try. We know it works. Go down the hall. What do you know? Videotape lying here. Got a videotape. Huh. So that leads into this bike room. Was not actually expecting that. Alright. Well, since we saw the TV... Car awaits us this time. That's the guillotine room. That's Helena. <sighs> oh no. So she was in a struggle with the boogeyman? Okay, uh, what's in the left room? Please tell me this is not a slider puzzle. Writing on the wall, I shall grant your greedy wish. If you want to have two, then... I have absolutely no clue what that means. Outdoors. David, get up. Keith, out. Where, where's this? Shirley? Keith, Shirley, where's Shirley? Sell down and answer me first. What are you doing here? What happened? Uh, um, I think... Shirley? She's sure taking her time. Shirley? Shirley, what, what happened? Hang in there. Oh, God. Ugh. Oh. It's not even seeing anything. It's making me go, ugh. I don't remember anything after that. Hmm, alright. But Brendan and Stevie are both... Y you're kidding, right? I don't make jokes in such poor taste. Lance and the Grundlers are hiding out in a safe room. I thought you'd have been kidnapped too, but I guess not. So Shirley was gone because... He must have taken her. Trying to bait you, I'll bet. Wonder what he's plotting. We have to hurry. I'll take you to the others they put with them. No way, I have to go find her. She's my wife, I have to. Listen to me, you'll only get in the way. I'm going no matter what. <laughs> Okay, so now I have him with me. that. Uh, let's see here. Something there, or 
large headless dog's body. Ew. That's awful, why would you do that? Some nut jobs just do this stuff for the hell of it. Don't go asking why they do it or you'll go nuts too. Circles drawn on the blood stained floor with green paint. Circles drawn, circles drawn. Right on the wall, I shall grant your greedy wish. If you want to have two, then... Hmm. I have no idea what that means. Uh, I've been playing for a while. I think I will cut it off here. Um, and I will see you guys uh, next video, and have a good one. Bye!